Hello friends, I'm Alicia and I work at LACMA. Welcome to Andel Family Sundays Anytime. Hola amigos, me llamo Alicia y trabajo en LACMA. Bienvenidos a Domingos en Familia Andel cuando quieras. I am super thrilled to introduce artist Katie Lipset, who will teach us how to draw emotions. Estoy super contenta de introducir a la artista Katie Lipset, quien nos enseñará cómo dibujar emociones. Now settle in for the video. Ahora alístense para el video. Hello, my name is Katie, and I am a teaching artist from LACMA. Welcome to Andel Family Sundays. Today, we're going to be exploring the art of a Japanese contemporary artist by the name of Yoshitoma Nara. And um, we are going to be exploring, looking at his work. We're going to be thinking about expressions on our faces and moods. We're going to be inspired by this piece. And then we're going to be doing some drawing exercises where we use our opposite hand, where we try to like do continuous line, we try different, different things. So we're going to do that exercises. And then we're going to finish with a final mood portrait. Okay. After we've really observed how our faces change, um, when we have different expression, different feelings. Um, so let's start by looking at Yoshitoma Nara's No Nukes, shall we? What do you see here? Well, for me, I see two main things. One is this little girl, and the other thing is this sign that says no nukes. And in case you don't know what that means, it's really a protest against nuclear arms. And uh, what's interesting about this piece is it really became famous because in 2012, um, Yoshitomo Nara allowed people to download this image and thousands of people carried it at Japan's largest anti-nuclear protest, which is kind of amazing. So this is really kind of a political piece. Uh, we're going to look at it as more like an expression piece. So what kind of expression do you see here? Well, first of all, what is an expression? An expression is something that shows an emotion or a mood, a feeling. Uh, when we're talking about faces, what part of the face shows or expresses a mood? Well, when we look at this painting or this art piece, we really see the eyes and the mouth tell a lot. Those eyes look very angry and kind of wonky. And the mouth is just a sort of funny little downturned thing. And it's amazing how it's just one single line and yet it expresses so much. When we look in the mirror later, very soon, you're gonna start seeing how your eyes and your mouth and your eyebrows really tell a story uh, about how you feel. Um, so also I wanna look at how um, Nara has drawn this girl. Um, it is very childlike. Um, and the feeling I get is that, you know, the children are going to be affected. And that's why a child is holding up the sign. I mean, the children are the ones who are going to be hurt by the nuclear arms. it's time for us to go and make our own art. Okay, let's start with what materials we need for this art project. So we're going to start by doing a bunch of drawing exercises. And that means we're kind of warming up our eyes and our hands. So I would recommend that you pick sort of a favorite drawing utensil. Um, it could be a pencil, could be a pen, 
I like Sharpies or um, crayon. If you use a Sharpie, make sure there's a paper underneath your drawing paper, okay? So a drawing utensil of some sort of your choice. Uh, paper, I recommend having a couple sheets. I have three here, just in case you mess up. They can be like um, printer paper or drawing paper. Um, and either a handheld mirror or a mirror that can like stand, you know, like this can stand up. Um, of course, you can always lean a handheld mirror. Um, and so that way, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these sheets of paper and we're gonna fold it into four, four squares. Um, this is again, the exercise portion, the warming up portion. Um, drawing is a practice and um, you know, you have to, like piano, like soccer, you have to warm up your eyes and hands so they work together. Um, so now you have four sections. Sorry, excuse that little fold there. And um, we are going to look in the mirror um, and do some different kinds of drawings. Okay, so now you have these four squares and we're gonna do a different drawing exercise in each square. The first exercise is going to be drawing yourself how you imagine you look from your mind's eye, not from reality, just how you imagine you look. And I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to do it, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so this first square is going to be me, how I imagine myself. So don't laugh. <laughs> Oops, I laughed. I'm sure that that looks kind of fun and cartoony. Now we're ready to do the second one. This one involves looking in the mirror and drawing what you see, but not looking at the paper. So you wanna get your mirror in a place where it can sit on a table and you can still see yourself, okay? So for instance, if I put my mirror right here on the table, then I can see what I'm doing. No, I mean, I can see myself and then I won't look at the paper, okay? So really observe, you know, your, your eyes, your nose. What does it really look like? Um, your eyebrows, your hair, start at the top and work your way down. You're only gonna be able to fit in your face into that square, okay? So make it fit in, don't make it teeny. Um, and I'm gonna give you 30 seconds, so get started. Okay, so now we have a drawing from your mind's eye, a drawing from your just observations, right? Now we're gonna try to do a drawing where it's a continuous line. You never pick it up from the paper. Um, and you're gonna look in the mirror and never pick up your pen, okay? We call that a continuous line contour drawing. It's a lot of words, right? Looking in the mirror, and drawing what you see continuously. It's really hard. And you gotta have a sense of humor with this one, okay? Um, don't get like, oh no, I messed up. It's, it's gonna be weird, okay? This is an exercise. It would be like something, it's like a stretch for your body, but it's stretching your hands and your eyes. Um, okay, get started, 30 seconds.
All right, was that one weird? I bet it was. I bet it was funny too. Um, I often laugh when I see what I've done, okay? Um, now you're gonna do the last square. Now this one we're gonna do with our non-dominant hand. That means if you're a righty, you're gonna try to draw with your left hand, okay? You are gonna draw what you see in the mirror. You're allowed to look at your paper, but you're using your left hand or right hand if, if you're a lefty, okay? All right, 30 seconds, get started. All right, so how were those exercises? Were they fun? I hope they loosened you up. That was the whole point. Now we're gonna make our final art piece. So now you have done these four exercises and you've ended up with a sheet of paper, um, which is very interesting to look at with your mind's eye drawing, your, your looking in the mirror drawing, your continuous line contour drawing, and then of course your non-dominant hand drawing. Okay, they're all kind of different aspects of you. But you've spent a lot of time looking in the mirror, which is good. So now you know what you look like, uh, if you didn't already. And I would like you to do a drawing of yourself that's really exaggerated, kind of in the way that a, a cartoon is. Um, exaggerate things about yourself that you would like to exaggerate, make bigger, that's what I mean by exaggeration. Uh, and I want you to show a mood. Um, so a mood is uh, a feeling, right? And it's expressed, in this case, it's going to be expressed on the face. Um, so I want you to think about, really, I want you to observe where on your face do you express these moods? Now you have this mirror, and I'm just gonna pretend you're my mirror right now. So I want you to practice sad, and really look, where did I express that? Let me try it again. So mouth, eyes, right? Even eyebrows probably look different. Now, after sad, I want you to try happy. Look at that. Mouth, eyebrows, eyes. In fact, my whole shape of my face changed, right? Now I want you to try angry. Look at that, my eyes got all small, my eyebrows changed, or my mouth changed. I want you to do an exaggerated drawing of one of those moods, okay? We are being inspired by Nara's work. He is so expressive. His singular people show so much just with the way a, an eye is drawn or the way a mouth is drawn, right? Even like the size of the head um, and that being the focus. Um, so I want you to try to do an exaggerated drawing. You decide, are you gonna do it from your mind's eye? Are you gonna actually look in the mirror? Do you wanna use one of these te techniques? Absolutely up to you. So let's try it. Okay, when you do your drawing, I want you to think first, like I said, think about what mood you're going to express. Happy, sad, angry, frustrated, what mood? Um, and how will you express it? Where will it show up? Will it show up in the eyebrows? Will it show up in the mouth? Um, will it show up in the tilt of the face? You know, what are you gonna show? Um, so I'm gonna show, do an angry one. I'm gonna start with my hair and I'm gonna make it, like I said, I'm gonna exaggerate it. It's almost like a cartoon or yeah. I'm gonna exaggerate my nose a bit. <laughs> it is pretty big. My eyes, I'm gonna exaggerate by making them smaller glasses. Now I'm gonna do eyebrows and the eyebrows are gonna be really angry and my mouth is too. Um, eyebrows. Put my apron on 
very important. Um, maybe I have a little more hair. I think that's angry. Hmm. I could make my eyes more angry too. There we go. That's better. Angry. Well, I hope you had as much fun as I did um, with those drawing exercises and then the uh, mood portrait. Um, and I hope you'll do more moods. Um, you can keep playing with those now that you know where to look, the eyes, the mouth, um, and exaggerating. Um, and I also hope that you'll do what Nara does, which is listen to different types of music and see what kind of feelings come up and draw those feelings. Um, I really enjoyed being with you today and I look forward to seeing you again soon at another Andel Family Sundays. Bye. Thank you so much, Katie. That was a blast. Muchísimas gracias, Katie. Me divertí de a lo máximo. What did you like best about this activity video? Tell me in the comment section. The Andel Family Sundays loves hearing from you. ¿Qué es lo que más les gustó de este video? Dime en los comentarios. El equipo de Domingos en Familia Andel nos encanta oír de ustedes. Watch videos made especially for you on LACMA's YouTube channel and please like and subscribe. Mira videos hechos especialmente para ustedes en el canal de YouTube de LACMA. Y por favor, danos un like y suscríbanse. Land Acknowledgement LACMA respectfully acknowledges that the lands on which our museum is built and the region that we serve is the ancestral and unceded territory of the Gabrileño Togva, Gabrileño Quich, Ferdaleño Tatatviam, and Ventureño Chumash peoples. Los Angeles County has been and is home to many indigenous peoples whose ancestral lands are here and elsewhere. As an art museum and a collecting institution, LACMA recognizes the role we and similar institutions play in the continual displacement of indigenous peoples from their lands, the theft of cultural objects and ancestors from their native caretakers, and the erasure and marginalization of indigenous artists in the stories museums tell. We are committed to working to dismantle the ongoing effects of this colonial legacy, building networks of support with and for indigenous art communities and tribes, and being better stewards of the lands we occupy.